Hello and welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV. In this episode, we'll be looking at InDesign and using the Pathfinder tool in InDesign. The Pathfinder tool is also found in Illustrator and it's most commonly used for cutting shapes out from one another or combining two shapes together. Um, in InDesign, it performs the same function. You can combine two vector shapes that you've created or you can cut shapes away from one another. In this particular uh, document, what I want to do is use this text as a cookie cutter, if you like. I want to cut the text away from that circle, the red circle it's sitting in front of, so that it reveals the, uh, the photo below. So in order to do that with the text, what I first need to do with the text is change the text into outlines. So in order to do that, I just select the text with the selection tool. So you can see I've got the bounding box selected there. And then if I come up to type and scroll down to create outlines, it has now converted the text from being a font into outlines. So it's now seen as just being uh, vector shapes. So I can't edit that text anymore with the type tool. I can't change the letters or um, edit it in any way. It's no longer a font. Now, in order to cut that text away from the red shape below, I also need to ungroup these objects because they're currently grouped together. So I can do that by coming up to object and then scrolling down to ungroup. And so now you can see each one of these letters has anchor points or running around all around the outside. All right, so in order to cut away from that red shape below, I've got to open up my Pathfinder tool and I get to that by going up to Window and then scrolling down to Object and Layout and Pathfinder. Okay, so the Pathfinder options are all along this line here and you can see at the start, this gives you the ability to add or combine two shapes together. The next one is to subtract, so subtracting the front object away from the back. And that's the one I want in order to cut out from this red shape in this document that I've got here. So what I need to do is make sure I select that red shape. So holding down the shift key and using the selection tool, I'm selecting the back shape and the text as well. Then it's just a case of coming across to my Pathfinder tool and clicking on the subtract and there you can see it's cut through that shape underneath. So if I click and drag this shape around, you can see it's essentially like a little window that I'm able to view below the red shape, I'm able to view that photo below. So to help give that shape a little bit more dimension to make it stand out a little bit more against the photo, what I will do with it is give it a slight drop shadow as well. So selecting the shape, I, I go up to my uh, object menu and then scroll down to the effects and then the first option there, drop shadow. Now the drop shadow is sitting a little bit too far away from that object, so I'll just reduce the offset, the X and the Y offset to bring it nice and close um, to the shape and just click OK on that. And there you have it. I've got a slight drop shadow effect happening there. It just helps it stand out a little bit more against that photo in the background. So you've hopefully found this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next short and sweet Adobe InDesign tutorial.